Hey there, welcome to Ask the Furry One, episode 35. Sorry if I sound a little tired, but, uh, I am. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure as you all know, the website has been updated and it looks a heck of a lot better. I am constantly updating it as well. There's still some more features that I want to post that I haven't. And I'm working on, uh, a couple things. Can't really tell you right now. But hopefully those will be set up soon and uh you'll see it when it is i'll post announcements you know all that good stuff so yeah i've been working like non-stop all the time but it'll you know whatever it'll it'll be worth it in the end so let me just uh oh yeah i guess also you, you should be getting we should be getting a lot of soldier front updates soon that's just great working with my schedule <laughs> but yeah so i guess uh next episode will be a lot of work huh yep all right well, let me just go get into this like pre-question right here, uh, real quick. Hey, fair. I was also wondering. Most of my friends say that the N94 is a bad gun because it is inaccurate. When I see you play with it, when I see you play it, was accurate when single firing. If you have time, could you demonstrate the N94's accuracy in a way? Could you do it that? Could you do that with the broken PSG2? Thanks for it, your best. Well, any every game you've seen me play in previous episodes, uh, broken PS. Any time I used the PSG, it was broken. Same with the N94. I did do some accuracy tests with the N94. I actually haven't been on Soldier Front since recording last episode, but uh, let me just demonstrate the accuracy real quick if I can get my clicking down. This is single fire. And that's what it'll do. That's usually what's going to happen. Uh, so also, yeah, I remember that because I don't. I haven't even had time to play play any games lately. But like when people were behind boxes and stuff, you'd have to kind of adjust for that. See, it's either going up, uh, hitting the box or going above the guy's head down there. So just adjust for it a little bit. I don't know, you play around with it, you f figure out whatever's good. I haven't really done it in a long time, so I'm sorry. But yeah, that's really the accuracy. I guess I c should also show you the bursting. Okay, that's bursting, and that's about how accurate it will be. And, uh, Fall Auto, this is probably what your friends are talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty inaccurate. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, as for the PSG, I guess I'll go use that right now. Okay, well, here's my broken PSG. It's kind of hit and miss. Uh, just crouching and looking at that. I hit that guy. Let's wait for him to come back. <laughs> but, uh,. Um, I'm also going to answer this next question. It's a long one, so that's why I'm doing it right now. Number, question number one. That's how I numbered it. Sorry, I numbered it wrong. <laughs> Could you use the AK-47 in Call of Duty 4 without any type of scope, red dot, AGOG, etc.? If you don't want to, that's okay. I'll try and do that at the end. Um, and whenever you play Call of Duty 4, could you say what map it is? I will try and do that for you, but... Uh, you know, if you play Call of Duty, you'll know pretty much. Uh, okay, I'll try and remember. Uh, I, I just when you said that, I also remembered that I forgot to review a, a Call of Duty gun last episode. But I'll, I think I'll only do that when you ask. Sorry, because I keep forgetting. Okay, here we go. Also, I play a game called Urban Terror. It's a mod of Quake 3 or something. I play it because it's the only thing that will work on my computer. Anyways, I like to. I like how most of the things are run on the game, and I want your opinion on some of the stuff. So I'll list some stuff they have in the game, and could you give your opinion opinion slash response about it? Okay. The game is really fast paced, and you have a sprint button so you can run faster and jump further. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, you know, whatever. Nothing bad there. If you sprint and jump and crouch in the air, you will do a little power slide thing. And if you sprint, you can jump into a wall and jump off the wall. Uh, that's that sounds pretty cool, you know. Pretty cool to me, kind of like guns, I guess. I actually did watch a a few videos on this game, and it looked pretty decent. 
Um, there's a bolt action sniper that takes one shot to the chest of head to kill, two shots to the legs or arms, and if you're in the scope of that gun, you take more than 30 damage, it will take you out of the scope. That I, th I think that's really great how they do that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, also, have they also have the PSG one, which takes one to the head, two to the chest, and three to the legs slash arms to kill. Uh, okay, I guess that's all right. I don't really, I haven't used it, you know, so I can't really comment too much about it. You could also bleed in the game, and you could stop yourself from bleeding by pressing Q. You can also heal your teammates half health by Q next to them, and if you have a medikit, you can heal them most of their health. Sounds pretty cool. If you have three item slots, you can have things like Kevlar or helmet or medikit or laser for accuracy or suppressor or night vision like thingies or extra ammo. That sounds pretty cool. The game doesn't reload for you, and when you reload, your bullets don't magically go into another magazine. <laughs> yeah, that's just, uh, once you take out a magazine, even if it has 29 bullets, it goes away, never to be seen again. That's the same way as Battlefield 1942, which I like. That, I think all battlefields do that. If you have grenades, one of your item slots gets taken away, so you only have two. That's, I like that, too. Could you, you could also have a secondary gun to add up to your primary and sidearm. The secondary could be a UMP-45, HK MP5K, or SPAS-12. It's alright, cool. When you go up or down ladders, you can't shoot. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. You can throw knives completely useless and in 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 inaccurate. <laughs> alright. You can change your gun whenever and get it when you spawn. The servers are run by people. Yeah, I like that. Most servers let you change the map to something random or a map you want. You pick up ammo automatically. You can't take the pin off a grenade and hold it until it explodes if you want. Oh, you you can take the pin off a grenade and hold it until it explodes if you want. If you team kill too many times, you automatically get kicked. Well, I think that's uh, probably just based on what server you're on. You can play the game on Linux, Windows, and Mac, I guess. Last and the worst thing about this game, one team is red and the other is blue. Kind of weird, eh? I, I saw the red and blue stuff, but, you know, it didn't really bother me or anything. I guess that guy over there's not coming back. But, yeah, every, it sounds like a really solid game to me. It sounds like they put a lot of thought into it, and it definitely would be a, a game I would want to check out. Now, if I had more time, I would check it out, but until then, I'm probably not going to. And... But it sounds really cool. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy. I'm standing up. Hit him. Let's see about this one. See, I missed. Let's try again. Hit him. Yeah, the broken PSG is just kind of hit and miss. Also, watch my broken broken weapons video on YouTube that might help you out. Miss. Hit. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, you're just gonna have... It's just kinda random luckiness, you know. Just pl The more you play with it, though, the better you will get. A lot of people, they'll just go into it and just, oh, I... I I hate it. It's so inaccurate. Whatever. Well, I can. I sometimes I do really good with it. Sometimes I can't hit a thing with it. Uh, it's just kind of random. But yeah, check out those videos, and I'm gonna go ahead and get in a game. All right. Well, some people. Or one person wanted me to use the desert, the Desert Eagle. So here we go. And I already did it, of course. But the video didn't convert right. So you know, whatever. Here we go. Um, let's see. Question two. Hey, Ferret. What? When do you think you're going to start making the merchandise? Well, I'm actually working on a lot of other things right now first, and I'd rather get those done first because it'll be used by more people than the merchandise shop. At least I think so. So I can't really tell you what they are.